Hi Virgo. Welcome to your unexpected reading from January 26th through February 9th. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below. All right. Page of Wands. All right, so we have a new interest possibly. Hmm. A new, um, new interest. Maybe wanting to reach out or send a message of interest. This is things being illuminated. This is the happiest card in the deck. So whatever you're thinking about, um, it will definitely resolve or um, it's a card of victory, a card of yes, a card of you know, things being illuminated, things working out, reaching a successful resolution. Okay, let's see what that's talking about. We got the Five of Swords here, Knight of Swords, Six of Wands, Ten of Cups, and the Six of Coins. Yay! Somebody's going to be doing the right thing. <laughs> that's pretty nice, huh? All right, so... There's no heavies down here. This is only so that to me, it's like, okay, this is kind of, I don't want to say mundane or trivial, but it's, it's not heavy duty whirlwind, like, holy cow, something's coming down the pipe. Get ready. Brace yourself. Um, we've got winner take all right here. We've got somebody cutting something out of their, their lives. Um, this is being probably pretty decisive and just maybe going in self-preservation mode or, or kind of cutting things out that do not suit anymore. Um, there could be fighting associated or company conflict associated with that. Um, it looks like you're going to be dealing with an air sign and there might be some harsh words exchanged. There might be some back and forth, quick back and forth. This is expect the unexpected. Let me clarify here. And then we have things working out and happily ever after. What the heck? So is this just a bump in the road? Because we got we got two cards of successful re re hello resolution here. So is this just a bump in the road? We just had a fight because we, maybe after that things, there's forward movement or forward motion. Once you get rid of whatever was not in your favor as far as this Situation. I'm thinking it's a love situation, but it could be something else. But what is it here? What's this Knight of Swords about? Two cards, please. Knight of Swords. Okay. Well, yeah. You know, if there's there's an okay, that one wanted to come out. Fine, fine. Okay. So um, we got the Page of Wands again. So perhaps just on a whim, maybe somebody reach decides to reach out to you. Um, maybe a long-standing feud or conflict, not long-standing, but just a conflict or a feud has ended. We got, maybe this is conflict about like, should I reach out? Should I say something? This is about communication. This is about rapid communication and just doing something without thinking and worrying about it later. Very like erratic, harsh, unexpected. And we've got an ending and a new beginning. So maybe you're conflicted about reaching out to somebody that there's been an ending with, or now that there's been an ending, you're kind of conflicted about, um, reaching out to somebody. It, it looks like maybe you've been kind of doing some purging or like, you know what? Um, I'm just not having, this is the beginning of the year. I want to start off right. I'm not having it. I'm not putting up with shenanigans. And maybe somebody reaches out to you, establishes some communication. We've got endings and beginnings and we've got inner conflict and then communication. So interesting that. All right. But what's the unexpected here? What's this six of wands? Okay, that came out that just those two just flipped so we've got um <laughs> we've got lots of horses so we've got the knight of swords here we got the death and we got the wands all of them have horses which is movement um and this is also about an ending and a new beginning and this is quick movement in pursuit of something and it's a passionate pursuit it's on the hunt there's a lot of um positive or, or a lot of momentum behind this movement and this is choosing and a choice. And the six of wands right here is also on a horse. So we've got forward movement. If not, you know, we've got slow beginning here, slow new beginning. Then this right here is rapid forward movement as well as the six of wands. So it's like there is a fight. 
and an ending and then all of a sudden somebody else comes in i mean it's this is all happening very quickly talk about unexpected uh, it could be a gemini it could be leo but it, it's it's almost like getting this out of the way cleared the way for somebody else to come in because before maybe they were um, thinking about it they were kind of just talking whatever and then all of a sudden you you know something happens to where one situation ends and then somebody else ushers in and look, lo and behold look at this we got a soulmate connection here um, and a choice you feel like you're on the same page with this person you feel like you're a lot alike you've got a lot in common and you're thinking that this could very well be you know in time a happily ever after situation for you for this wow Virgo <laughs> so here we start off with a little bit of interest and then a lot of conflict and um, kind of just fighting and and almost winner take all and, and feeling conflicted and then next thing you know we're off and running with it looks like somebody new here somebody else comes in it's like they've been waiting and this is a good fit this is saying that this is a good fit this is a reciprocal relationship we got two sixes here right yeah so two knights two pages two sixes let me look up that Two knights, two pages, two sixes. So two knights, intimacy, disquiet, and irritability. Okay, so, <laughs> so things are in flux because probably there's been a breakup and this would, you know, maybe this right here, this is about that physical intimacy as well as getting to know each other, emotional intimacy. This, this kind of speaks to itself or for itself right here. It's like this is, something's been set in motion, there's been an ending, and then all of a sudden this unexpected new, um, person comes in and you're off to the races and it looks like there's just everything's in sync and this is it's like balance is restored you go from this energy the this conflict maybe self-conflict but fighting and just being like okay, the very solitary like i just got to do what i got to do get out of my way stay out of my way this is not working i'm taking all for myself i'm taking what i can and i'm only looking out for myself at this point and then we've got somebody coming in which looks like it's a soulmate connection and happily ever after and things working out. We got things working out right here. And this is, um, this is giving to like basically doing what's appropriate balance, reciprocity, generosity, um, sharing and equality in a relationship. So there you, you go. <laughs> <I'm gonna cut. laughs> okay. I don't want to jinx it and clarify it because then it's like, Oh, well, there's another 10 minutes. Okay, hold on what's this what's this six of cups about though because i feel like there's you know you know whether there's kids involved or not that that's not uncommon but what's is there something about this six of coins because my spidey sense is tingling here is this payment from a prior what is that what's six of Okay, so it might be a lot of work because of this, the residual drama over here, but this is, um, this is the relationship that you wanted to be a part of. This is, um, you're entering into a really sort of creative, abundant, prosperous, prosperous cycle here. And it might be a lot of work, but it's also something that you'd be very proud to be a part of and you would, you don't mind contributing to or working for with someone. Um, you know, I, I, I'm not one to, well, you know how I am. If you've been watching this a while, you know that, you know, I'm not going to sit there and make it something it isn't. But honestly, I mean, we've got the sun, we got the 10 of cups, we got the six of coins. Come on. Six of wands, the empress. It looks good. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> I'm usually like, oh crap, you know, this is the gutter and sorrow tarot, but, um, this looks really good, Virgo. It starts off kind of, whoa, um, there's conflict and drama and then. All of a sudden, it leads to some kind of soulmate connection with... I don't think it's the same person. I think there's an ending and then somebody else comes in that's been watching and waiting and maybe they, have, they felt conflicted. Or maybe you've been watching and waiting for someone else to um, end a relationship so that you can um, tell them how you feel, establish, you know, something. And then it looks like it really takes off. It's, it's the relationship that there's a lot involved but it's everything you ever wanted and it's equal and it's fair and it's sharing and you're connected and it's the two of you working together towards the same goal and it's it it has a sense of feeling right for you aha uh -huh. 
confusion and illusion. Okay, beware, it's saying. Be careful of um, what things seem like at first. So that it could be that maybe this is very, very new and there needs to be that time for getting to know each other and taking things not quite so quickly because it's all there. There's no need to rush to get to it. But you know, when you're excited and it's in the beginning, it's like, you just, especially if you're coming from this, holy cow, you know, you don't, you don't want to, you don't want to stay here. You want to get to the good stuff. So I could see why there'd be a quickly, but this is saying, just be careful of, um, what's, what you are projecting, like what you want really truly to be versus what really is. And that involves giving something time. That's all it is. There we go. Guardian. Yay. You and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. Yay. So thank goodness, because if this would have shown up like, you know, beware the wolf or something, um, <laughs> it would have been like, well, crap, maybe we need to backtrack and reconsider. But this is saying, so it might, it's almost like you might be thinking it might be too good to be true. And there's nothing wrong with taking things a little slower just to vet the situation and make sure. But this is saying that it is what you think it is. This is like, oh my gosh, is this really too good to be true? It might feel like it, but this is saying you're right where you're supposed to be. You're being watched over. This is all by design. It's going to work out. This is the happiest card in the deck. Okay, so, you know, no muss, no fuss. There you go. All right, Virgo, that was your unexpected reading for um, January 26th through February 9th. I hope it was helpful, and I hope it works out. This is, this is quite exciting. We go from her huh, to you know, skipping through the daisies. <laughs> Yay. Um, I hope to see you in the next reading. Take care.